Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Justin Betty. North Dakota Republicans and Democrats are both holding their state party conventions today in Fargo. On the GOP side, topics range from abortion to property taxes. The news team's Gabriel Oster has been at the Sanford Health Athletic Complex all day. He joins us now live with the latest. Gabriel. Yeah, Justin, I'm actually outside the shack now, as you can see, not just because I want to get some of the last vestiges of the great weather that our first alert weather team has been talking about, but because things are finally winding down on what has been a very eventful day here. When I was just inside doing my last little bit around 530, they said that things should be wrapping up in the next 45 minutes from then. So in between this six and the 630, you should start to see a steady stream of people trickling out after a long day of electing and debating. And there was a lot of debating that went on. On. As you may have heard from earlier, there was some consternation where the District 37 delegation was threatening to maybe not be heard because their paperwork was not in properly. So there was a lot of back and forth on that, that District 37 from Dickinson. So it really impacted Congressman Kelly Armstrong, who used to live in that uh, town before he uh, decided to go ahead and move into the congressional role. He's now going for the gubernatorial race. I was able to speak to him a little bit earlier, and he kind to give me a, a synopsis of what it was like to be on the floor and talking to his constituents. Yeah, I mean it's a convention, so it's always rowdy. It's always there's always a lot of stuff going on. But people are excited to be here. Are excited to be here. They're excited about our run for governor. And it's just been a lot of fun to get a lot of hugs from people I haven't seen in a while. And speaking of that run for governor. We know who Tammy Miller's running mate is going to be. We don't yet know who Kelly's is going to be, but he told me later on that conversation that he will make that announcement tomorrow. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for all of our coverage on that. My colleague, Zachary Wyan, will be here with that information. For right now, uh, an end to an exhausting, but I would say productive day here at the shack. Uh, Justin, back to you. Thank you, Gabriel. We'll have continued coverage again, as he mentioned, of the GOP convention, as well as a more in-depth look at the Democratic State Convention coming up tonight on Valley News Live at 9 and 10.